You guys, I did it. Like, I did it for once. I actually have a small grocery haul. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share with you my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. So today I did Walmart's grocery pickup. It was super convenient for me this morning because today is my six year wedding anniversary. So I'm super excited. Daryl took off from work today and we're having a really awesome family day plan. So I didn't wanna have to deal with grocery shopping later, being that Jake had no church. It was super convenient for me to pull in to spot number two, grab my groceries, and go. So my total today was $65.84. I wanted to stay around $75, which was perfect. My total before was $75, but I had a $10 referral credit thanks to you guys. So if you've not tried grocery store pickup, my link is always in the description box if you want to check it out. So again, thank you to whoever used my link because I got to save $10 on my groceries today. I had no substitutions. They had everything. It was a one wonderful pickup. I'm already home. I'm going to show you guys what I got, share with you the meal plan, and then I am off to go get a manicure and a pedicure for my anniversary. All right, guys, this is it. This is my like a teeny and tiny grocery haul. Like I don't even think it covers half of the counter. Some of this stuff is non-food items and some extra things because I've mentioned before that my parents are coming at the end of the week. They will be here on Friday. So some of these things are for them. Now, now, I will have a little impromptu grocery haul at the end of the week. I want to get cold cuts for my parents. I feel like when they come in, they're always hungry from a long car ride and they just want to eat a sandwich, but I'm not going to get cold cuts today on a Sunday when they're not going to arrive until Friday morning. So I will run out early Friday morning and I'm gonna to go to Publix and get Boar's Head. That's the cold cuts they love so much. So on Friday, you'll see like a little mini parents grocery haul from Publix then but for now this is just what i got to hold me over for recipes this week and again some stuff for my parents so here are the eggs i got and you're like whoa kira where are your super expensive brown organic eggs well my parents actually don't really like brown eggs i still have a little over a dozen from last week but my parents would prefer plain old white eggs and i'll take my parents cheap eggs for the win because these were 36 cents so i picked these up for breakfast with them i uh, got our orange juice we've been really loving the orange juice that nicole got we already went through the orange juice from trader joe's so we got the homemaker premium in the original uh, as you can see, you're like, whoa, what's with the row of Minute Maid? Well, this is what my dad loves to drink, and he seriously could go through a container a day because if he's not drinking coffee, he's drinking this. So this is just the Minute Maid Tropical Punch, and they're like $1.50, so I got him four of them, and he'll, he can have them, and he can even take them like in a thermos to go or something on the car ride home. So I've got those for him. And then I got two things of ground chicken. I got another thing of ground ground chicken for my recipe. We're cooking with ground chicken this time for the 50 shades of chicken. But when I went back, I saw the recipe called for three pounds. And these are usually sold in one pound containers. So I didn't even notice that. I only bought one. So I had to go back and buy two more. So here's two pounds and I already have one. So that'll be the three pounds of lean ground chicken that I need for this time's 50 shades of chicken. Uh, I picked up this for Jake. It was only $3 on the Walmart grocery pickup, and he's been asking for this to charge his headphones. And I know that I have one, but I can't find it anywhere. So for three bucks, I just picked this up for him so he can charge his headphones. Um, I also picked this up for Jake. I have a video coming up for you guys this week on some cute, fun ideas for your kids for snacks and lunch boxes for Halloween, like last minute easy ideas but I can't really use any of them for Jake and his lunchbox because he's just too old. But you guys know he loves his Oreos. So these are those little Oreo like mini Milka bars and they just have like, they're just in a Halloween package. So it was only two and change on the website. So I picked this up for him. So I have something like to put in his lunchbox for next week for Halloween. And then I did grab these. Now, 
I don't know if they're comparable to the ones at the Dollar Tree, but these are only 92 cents for a six count of a nine by 12 clasp envelope. So I wanna test the proof of the cookbook and see if it fits in there. But if it does, I'm pretty sure it's the six count is also what you get at the DT. And this is eight cents cheaper. And we're gonna be buying tons of envelopes to ship all these pre-order cookbooks to you guys. So I got one pack for now to test it out. And if it fits and it works and it's convenient and then I'm just going to order a bunch more of these so that we can use them when it comes time to pack the cookbooks up. I got a thing of a sour cream. I also got a thing of the fresh peeled garlic. I'm very sad that I forgot to get those frozen cubes of garlic when I just went to Trader Joe's this past time. I've been loving them and they're super convenient, but I also have that really awesome Omni Chopper and I've been using that for everything and it's been really just been such a time saver in the kitchen and I thought this would help me. So I'm gonna see if this works for me since I don't have the frozen ones and it's just a six ounce bag of already peeled garlic so I want to see how that works out I got a thing of stew meat this is actually not for this week's meal plan it's for next week but while I was placing an order anyway they had a rollback sale on it so I purchased this for Halloween uh, it's tradition in our family to make a pot of stew on Halloween my mom always said it reminded her of witch's brew and it could cook on the stove all day long and then when you come in and out from trick-or-treating and stuff there was always crusty bread and stew on the stove to eat on Halloween so I picked this up to stick with tradition uh, every other week Mason's overnight pull-ups and then every week a pack of diapers for Maya I did actually, while I was in BJ's, compare the wipes, even the BJ brand wipes, which if I were to purchase them from BJ's, I would get the Pampers one. And even with a coupon, the Parents' Choice wipes are the better deal. Now I started checking these out because of Leanne over at Grady's Mom, and she is really right. These are awesome. I tried the without scent one, but I prefer a little bit of a scent, so I got the cucumber scent this time. My sister-in-law had these over Christmas break, and I got to smell them, and they smelled fabulous. So, sorry, over the summer. When I saw them over the summer, I tried these, and they were awesome. So, now that I know this is the better deal, I'm going to continue to get the Parents' Choice wipes from Walmart, and I really love the cucumber scent. Speaking of Leanne over at Grady's mom, she shared a really delicious pork chop recipe last week on her channel, like a creamy crock pot one, and you needed cream of chicken soup, so I picked that up because I'm gonna try that this week. A thing of heavy whipping cream for recipes, a red onion, two harvesty kind of yogurts for myself. So I got the Chobani Flip, the limited edition pumpkin harvest crisp. So it's pumpkin yogurt with pie crust pieces, glazed pumpkin seeds, and pecans, which sounds so yummy. So I got that for myself, and then I got the regular pumpkin yogurt with pumpkin pie spice, just the plain Chobani, because I have some granola that I want to use up. So I got those for myself. I picked up some fresh spinach. I needed this to roll in my stuffed flank steak that I'm making for tonight. I did find the Sweet Hawaiian Rolls on their website, so I was excited to see it since my other Walmart didn't have it. So this is the new Grand's Flaky Layers, and this is in the Sweet Hawaiian. So I got this for when my dad is here because he absolutely loves those. We're going to have this on Friday night with pot roast. I picked up some more Parmesan cheese. I need that for a recipe. I was out of broth, so I got one thing of organic chicken broth. And then two gallons of milk, you guys. And that is it. That was my $65.84. They did give me this little bag. And they said that they're giving everyone these little Halloween treat bags. So I didn't go through it. I was going to save it with you guys. I peeked in and I saw the few things on top. There's a box at the bottom, which I didn't go through. So there's two little mini boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios in there. So I think my kiddos are going to take that in the car on the way. And then they have just a little like Walmart flyer in here. And then a little mini Crest gum and enamel repair toothpaste and then some other little flyer packet Purina one cat food so we don't have a cat but I will either donate this to my vet 
or I'll see if Leanne's cat will eat this and or even Madison has a cat if her cat will eat this I will save that for one of my cat friend lovers okay here's our little box so let's see what's in there how do we open this oh it's like actually sealed hmm well, that's kind of neat. You know, no one's taking anything. They probably just came stock from there. Look at me, one-handed, what? All right, all right. Ooh, what? Ooh, I see a lot of goodies in here, you guys. How sweet is that? Thank you, Walmart. So the Ritz Crisp Thins, and this is just the oven-baked sea salt, but we really like uh, all the Ritz Thins. And then these are the good things, the potato one, and it's the sweet potato. So yum. I love that cute little bag of chips for the snack cabinet. Oh, I've been dying to try these Belvedas. Everybody always talks about them. And actually, Lisa just found them at the Dollar Tree, I think. Um, and it's the blueberry snack packs. So I got one of those. That'll be great for my handbag. Oh, look, there's still more in here, you guys. Jeez. Um, oh, three little things. So, oh, oops. All right, I'll see that in a second. Trident Vibes in Oola Lemon. Hmm, so I guess it's little mini gum, wrapped gum. I don't know, that's kind of weird. I got two of those. And then the same thing I just got Jake, one of those little Oreo chocolate fun size candy bars. So super cute. Thank you so much, Walmart. No tricks, just treats. Super, super cute. Um, all right, and then the last thing I just wanted to show you guys since I had a small haul and I had a little bit of time is my girlfriend sent me a little birthday box yesterday and she sent me something from the brands called Smart Living. I don't know if my camera will focus so you can see it. There you go. Um, and she said she got this at Stop and Shop. So my locals who have a Stop and Shop by you guys, maybe you'll want to check this out. But first of all, that is an amazing diesel mug. I love the color and the little detail on it, but like soup cereal chili yes like yes please and then look at these little stemless wine glasses look at what they say oh my goodness they're so beautiful it's hard to tell because it's so shimmery but it's like almost in a rose gold or a bronze and this one says gather together this one says give thanks this one says blessings and this one says be grateful and then she got me two tall ones, and this one says thankful, and then this one says grateful with that same little like detail on the bottom, which I just think are perfect for like setting the Thanksgiving table, so I love them. If you like are on the hunt for those, like go and check them out because they're really, really pretty. And then the other stuff that she got me, I think I mentioned to you guys a bunch of times like in my get ready with me and stuff that my girlfriend Bonnie sells lip scents and Senegens products. And she said she's been dying for this hairline to come out because she knew I would want to try it. So this is all like for people like me who with like really thinning hair and like losing hair and stuff. So it's the hair recovery shampoo thickening and volumizing with a UV color protection. So that's the shampoo, that's the conditioner, and then this is a Senegens Hair Recovery Strengthening and Thickening Hair Serum. Whew, a mouthful, oh my goodness. Okay, so she got me this too, so I'm gonna try them both out. And for those of you who always comment and say you're struggling with the same issues with the thinning hair, maybe this would be something you would be interested in. And then she sent little samples and stuff as well. So that is it, guys. That's my grocery haul, my little free bag, my little mini smart living haul, and now on to the meal plan. Okay guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday, October the 22nd through Sunday the 28th. I did already run off and go get a manicure and pedicure. This is the color I picked, just like something subtle and shimmery and it's gel polish, so it should last me a little bit. And then hopefully by Halloween, I'll be able to put on like a spooky set of nails or something. Um, all right. So for Monday, we are doing a double batch of pumpkin waffles. I mention all the time that at least once a month, I do a big batch of one of these. So usually once a week, I do some sort of double batch, whether one week it's waffles, one week it's pancakes, one week it's French toast, just because that lasts me then all month for breakfast with the kids. And I am loving 
loving this pumpkin mix from Trader Joe's. It is just so good, you guys. Like, I can't even explain to you that it's the perfect amount of sweetness. And, like, you don't even need syrup. The pancakes that I made last time were so good that, like, all you need is butter on it. It's just they're really delicious. So we're going to do that um, with some bacon and some watermelon. And then we were going to do like a Taco Tuesday, but then um, we're going to do the 50 Shades of Chicken. We're going to film this for tomorrow. And this is something along the Mexican line. So I'm excited about that because we haven't really like divulged into that flavor yet. And that is my favorite flavor. Um, and then my girlfriend Leanne over at Grady's Mom, she shared a creamy pork chop recipe recently and it just looks so delicious. So so I'm going to make that this week with my cheesy homemade rice aroni and some broccoli. On a Thursday, we're going to do hamburger helper. This is in the instant pot or the pressure cooker. I actually have a cooking video for this, so I'll link this up above and in the description box. But this just sounds so delicious and easy because that day Daryl has off. We're going to be doing carpet cleaning and um, getting the house ready because on Friday, my parents arrive and they're going to be here like probably fairly early morning so we only have thursday to get the house ready and you know you want your house to like look good when your parents come and i'm going to do a pot roast in the crock pot this way i don't have to be in the kitchen a lot cooking that day like the crock pot will do most of the work for me and so i'm going to do a pot roast in there we're going to do those hawaiian biscuits i'll make some mashed potatoes and my dad loves green beans so i'll do those air covert green beans from trader joe's and then on Saturday, I want to do a leftovers. So I mentioned to you guys that I'm going to get cold cuts for them for when they come in, but I'm going to get a couple of pounds of like turkey, ham, that kind of stuff. So there'll be a plenty of cold cuts left over as well as there'll be pot roast left over. And then if you guys saw my meal prep video, I froze pot pie for my dad that I knew he would love. So between cold cuts and pot roast and pot pie and anything else from earlier in the week, I feel like that would be more than enough to accommodate leftovers because we want to do something as a family this night. We had plans to go to like this big like pumpkin palooza thing that was in the Carolina pavilion, but it looks like it's going to pour Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So all of my outdoor possibilities, apple picking, pumpkin picking, all the things I want to do with my parents are probably going to be null and void due to the weather, which is awful. Um, so it might have to be forced to be inside fun, but Saturday is our like only day to be a family while my parents are here to go do some fun stuff. So I don't want to have to worry about dinner either. So I'd rather just do leftovers, cold cuts, pot roast, the leftover pot pie, that kind of thing, and allow us to just go and do things out. And then Sunday, Jake does have church, so I will have to go inside to do my grocery shopping, but my mom likes to come with me, so that won't be so bad. And I'm going to do appetizers. My dad really loves football, but they don't have direct TV, and so we have the Sunday ticket. So I think my dad's going to love like sitting in the big comfy chair in the living room on the big screen and watching all the different football games. And I just want to be able to put little nosh on food out so that they can just pick all day and again, not another day structured in the kitchen. So that is it guys for this week's meal plan. Make sure if you guys are interested in our cookbook and you haven't sent in a email yet, make sure you send in an email to a YouTuber's cooking playlist at chef.net that is linked in the description box below as well. And we have all sorts of options guys. I know that the price seemed a little intimidating. I know a bunch of you had expressed that after we let you know that the cookbook had gone live for pre-order, but uh, Amazon is taking a gigantic chunk of that. So we're not making nearly what you guys would think after all of the effort that we kind of put into this book, but um, the pre-orders were really just meant to give you guys who really loved the idea of having our signature all together and all of that. It was to fulfill those kinds of needs, but the cheaper options are still available and will be on Amazon as of next week, if that's the route you would like to take. But 
the pre-orders will still be going on until the 29th if you're interested. And again, guys, that's it. So everything you guys need will be linked in the description box. Any recipes that I have, any promo codes, coupons, all that good stuff. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I post a meal plan and grocery haul every Monday here on the channel. Everybody else, guys, I love you so much. You know that I do, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.